Hello everyone, once again this is Salvi talking about today we're going to have Aster and Rosemi be taking mental breaks slash hiatuses, so they're relaxing. Needy sisters and needy defenders are trying to report Hololive fans for things that they feel they have done bad and so much more today on the news. Aster is now taking a break due to what he mentions being an extremely depressive state. This is not good. I do not like anyone being in a depressive state. People have their own situations, just like I have my own. Um, people are dealing with their own mental uh, diagnoses, as I am. Uh, so I can definitely uh, feel for uh, and empathize Aster with Aster Arcadia right now. Sometimes those, those, especially if it's, you know, biological, it's an issue that you cannot control. It's an issue that uh, will pop up randomly sometimes. It'll just be, you could have the best day of your life and it will pop up. So it's not necessarily indicative of anything that's happening, but it may be caused by more external factors of, you know, things happening right now. But I do wish the best for them. Like I said, I have an issue with the organization, not with the livers themselves. So I don't want to send any kind of hate or anything like that to the livers. I'm wishing the best for Aster Arcadia and others that I'm going to mention that are taking their own little hiatus. That's the third one, taking a break from mental health. Where are Kotoka, Vox, Rosamine, and now Aster? Was there anyone that I missed? Not counting I am Petra being in general distress, of course. Side note, ISPL tweeted, look at diet suck. I'm always hungry, but my jaw doesn't want to work. Uh, this person thinks that there's something more serious going on. Like they're thinking uh, doctor's orders, which makes me concerned about possible hospitalization. But the liquid diets and her mentioning her jaw, it might be either jaw surgery or dislocation of the jaw, you know, something. And if it's a jaw injury, like a dislocation of the jaw, the uh, doctor will require you to have rest of your jaw, like resting your jaw, not talking so much, not eating so many things, chewing can put more distress on a jaw issue. So that could definitely be something that happens, but it's, it's, it is a bad sign because something's happening to the body. That plus the clawing, because she did mention clawing at her skin in the past in her PL. Uh, the only good news is any of this is that she's healthy enough to tweet, but when she's using tweeting as a positive sign, we're clearly approaching dark places. Uh, Salem was also healthy enough to tweet on the 27th of December. Yes, when she had her attempts, that is very true. Headgear also sound like jaw injury, perhaps a car accident. Hopefully not anything that serious. It could just be, you know, jaw distress for whatever reason. Rosamie is also taking a break. Uh, I wonder if something happened that thanks to the AR live reactions, Rosamie, I understand she's getting hit with bad news after bad news. So parts in the show, like her parts in the show are not getting there, being cut. That type of thing is definitely something that would distress anybody. And it's something that I absolutely can empathize with, like not having parts that you want to be in there, not talking about VTubing because I'm not that big to have those type of issues in VTubing. Um, but I do understand like from, you know, maybe a part in a play or something like that in the past that you would have an issue with. I do understand that. And that is something, of course, that would be kind of like, oh, my goodness. Absolutely. I have a feeling it's been a long time coming. He burst into tears during his New Year's stream and had to mute to cry a bit. Something about being very hard for him to get recognition from his peers. That sounds like more a problem in the company. Definitely sounds like more a problem in the company. And that problem is continuing, like I said, with Rosemead Lovelock. She's a few streams. She'll be going a little break to reset everything mentally. She's had a very, very, very bad uh, situation right now with, you know, her parts in the AR Live being cut. And when you work very hard for the AR Live, when you work very hard for something that's going to pop up, that only happens pretty much the AR Live is not something that happens every year. So it was something that was probably the only opportunity she was ever going to get to do something like an AR Live. She put all of her effort into it. She put all of her, her, her best foot forward into that. And to see it basically because of the fact they wanted to remove Selene or whoever else they wanted to remove, they removed her parts. That hurts. That is painful for anybody. And I do understand uh, if you need a little bit of a reset, a little rewind, whatever you want to call it during those times because of that situation, I can absolutely understand that. And I would not fault anyone in doing things like that just to reset and restart a little bit. Here's a person who is a little bit too sensitive, I guess, but that's fine. You can be as sensitive or hard skin or thick skin or thin skin or however you want. It is your life. You can live it as you please. But this person um, put out, I guess, a hypothetical, a, 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 a rhetorical question, put out a rhetorical question because here's what they did. They asked, I'm going to say this once and for all. Why do big hollow accounts stick their nose into Niji's business every single time? You have a platform use it to promote your Oshis, not meddle into others fandoms business. It's getting tiring. Niji Sanji does the same. Both fandoms do the same, like the extremes of the fandom. Not every hollow live uh, fandom enjoyer is going to be essing on Niji and not every Niji Sanji fandom enjoyer is going to be essing on Hollow Live. That's 
one of those things that uh it's the tribalism that happens and it's never good but here's what this person did they made this they made this this is fine you know the, the tweet that they made but they also said only the people that they follow or mentioned uh can reply he didn't mention anybody so basically he just closed his replies to it he wanted a little bit of an echo chamber he wanted even worse than that uh nobody he mentioned is there and i'm pretty sure this is probably a smaller account so it probably doesn't even have very many followers uh so why even post this you know needy stands pretending to be saints and telling other people to mind their own business uh but before they are rabid dogs essing on hollow girls left and right they don't seem to, to like being in the receiving end i mean no one really likes to be in the receiving end of hate let me just be objective here hate sucks like being uh hate mobbed sucks uh, i definitely know how bad it can be getting hate mobbed but uh it is not fun for anybody it is not fun for the especially not fun for i mean it could be fun for the people doing it but it's not fun for the person receiving it in no way shape or form so that's why i, do, I try to push not having hate mobs just being objective just you know having your opinions but not uh creating hate out of them. needy sisters stop sticking your nose in needy's business f off and take care of your own s also needy sisters having 69 tabs active to spying on hollow and take talking s about everything else um it's definitely used sort of derogatory manner but only me only as much as calling old people boomers yeah it's like a boomer thing it's like calling people boomers pretty much the way i see it uh needy fans always stick their smelly butt over at hollow this guy talking about they're always boasting about how much better needy sandy's community is compared to hollow lives yada 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 these hypocrites need to stfu they're a bunch of hypocrites calling themselves better than hollow fans because we aren't unicorns while their biggest talents in en living by feeding unicorns which are almost half of their fandom yeah you have like um people like box who's feeding unicorns you have people it when you are a large organization like that it does help to have unicorns i guess remember the covid era remember how these needy sisters spamming ace any color has talent freedom and unhinged while hollow live is idle restriction and boring and clean and promote the nigm branch in the end they lost the mindshare war people like idols and professionalism the shark became the largest vtuber hollow live en is now the third behind hollow gp and niji jp while ac turned out to be any color turned out to be a black company that was restricting the talent freedom they quit they're yeah they're not fully black black company because they haven't done really really horrible things but they are a company who has is not in the best of esteem nowadays it says i mean he's a jerk and he's been dishonest let's just get out of that that out of the way i agree with that it's not like his rhetorical question is far flung concept despite freezing it like a question phrasing it like a question what he's really just saying is that he thinks it's dumb that they chime in all right guys some positive news for once some positive news on the vtuber front that i do like giving you guys a little bit of positive news here um Afkai has added more people to replace etheria that they were you know having in uh in nidi sanji but that was canceled and all that kind of stuff you remember that whole situation uh they have Matara and Mint Phantom, which is used to be Pomu. They have all of that. Now, they have just announced that they are going to have Gavis Battle. They're going to have Regis Altair. They're going to have Koseki Biju and Kyla Kowalski. Kowalski. This is big. So, Hollow Live has come in to replace uh, Nidhi Sanji at Ofkai Expo. I don't know if this is going to go well with Nidhi Sanji fans and it's going to go well with Nidhi Sanji stands. But there is something positive happening around here. I'm so very glad that they are going to have this opportunity to be here. Um, I know that this is going to make it so that a lot more people want to go to off Kai now because of the fact that this is just, it's insane. It's just, it's big people. Bibu's going to be there. Kyla's going to be there. It's just basically like a meet. It's a special guest. It's like the, I don't know if it's just going to be for meet and greet or if it's going to be an actual panel. Either way, they're going to be there. This is big news on the uh, VTuber side. It might be even a redemption arc for uh, off Kai in the whole way that they are doing things because a lot of people didn't like off kai doing the needy sanji stuff so now they're doing this which is good uh careful now bringing up hollow live and anti niji move only validates the sister's mindset that said i'm surprised they didn't have hollows already guess they're originally planning on only inviting one of the big two companies and then realize they didn't they'd have to choose you know another one because they chose the wrong one also i'm happy to see kiara among the hollow representation with what mint already being there so all these people here then we have takanashi kiara Who's going to be showing there i missed the kiara one and of course seeing made mint there you know it's gonna i mean mint, mint phantom i keep making that mistake mint phantom it's going to i do salute off kai feelings aren't any different since their announcement not having remu and and millie which that they got removed i still think off kai made the right choice they did because the uh, perception is is going to look bad the uh public just view of everything is going to look bad the public relations are going to be bad all that kind of stuff is going to be bad we need uh you know 
positive things happening. And right now, Hololive is on the positive side, so it's going to look really good for them. Pretty sure they have better PR team than Niji. Not only that, those streamers may have been better communicators than Niji's F up delaying tactics. You don't want to continuously work with a corpo of people who got so many bad baggage, i.e. streamers with questionable characters, the livers that are supposed to have last time rumored click bullies, and Niji not replying to them for weeks. So yeah, you have, you have to watch out for your PR, especially if you're a large convention like this. You have to watch out for who you have around. And it sounds bad, but you do not want bad publicity hitting you as a convention because you do not want aggression. You do not want anger at your convention. You do not want people being, uh, you know, negative nillies, as, they, as some people say. You know, just don't want that kind of aggressive atmosphere. And I'm glad that Ofkai did this. More people on the, the, the dox site, the doxing site, that are kind of going insane with what uh, is going on, I guess. God, the, the Forsaken site is far greater liability to the whole v of VTubing. For anyone that has dug deep and knows their history, knows Nidhi sisters deserve every bit of S thrown at them. Far from deserving a report to both any color and cover, if you would like to return the favor, the links are below to report them here. Send an email to cover to do something about their community. They have a contact form. If you can fill, please do so, so they'll know what their fans are out of control again. On another note, I was filling out the form. There's a drop down that says recruit students mid-career. To think they were essing on Niji about hiring students when Cover has this. Everybody has some sort of um, student internship. Everybody does. But the thing is, Niji Sanji wants them to do professional work at a student internship rate. Can I ask for the link? This sounds very like like a, a smart thing to do. I don't know about this. on the agency done anything about their fan base before. People are saying that they don't do anything. Um, I feel like it's their job to protect their employees, but not sure they can do much about their fans, however harmful they may be. You should probably focus on supporting your ocean, reporting any hate posts that violate TOS. Didn't cover send a notice before telling fans to behave. Forgot what. I clearly didn't do anything. So what's another statement like this going to do? Yeah, it's not going to. I don't know. All these reports, unless you actually have it like on social media, like on Twitter, Twitch, that type of thing, they can do something there. But if it's an anonymous site like this, they can't really do anything. Because not every solution is realistic or worthwhile. The root of this issue is not even related to cover. Hollow Life fans took the opportunity to flame the brand they don't like. But this was kickstarted by Doki getting canned. Neither parties, Nidhi Sanji or Doki Bird, are affiliated with cover at the end of the day. Uh, feel free to email them if you'd like. I was just sharing my opinion. You're boring and sad, uh, according to, you know, for replying to an not anonymous. I hope you get the will to fight for someone you care about. Oh, God, they're treating it as, a, as if, like, it's an actual, like, fight that they have to go into. This is weird. What is wrong with you? I have the will to fight. I just do it through things I feel will work. Don't have to accuse me of wanting my Oshi to suffer. I've been reporting posts and even helping to debunk misinfo. I already said you can do what you want. They're even turning on each other. Holy crap. As a corporation, it's embarrassing that a sizable number of your fan base defaming the livers of every company you built joint task force with. That's the same thing that Niji Sanji has. I sent the email as well. Probably do nothing, but it's worth a try. These are people that are reporting just for reporting's sake and uh, report the doc site to cover corp. Both, if any color has any sense, the size liability to them as well. Any color having common sense, that would be negligible as a first. The cover and Niji partnership on anti-harassment was mainly able to implement countermeasures and illegally go after people and legally go after people who have done things listed below against their VTubers, defamation, etc. But this is all just on sites that they can actually reach. They can actually get into. They actually have, you know, user information. The ones that are um, in any way anonymous you have a, a, a longer fight, a much harder fight to get anything out of them, honestly. So that's the hard part of that one. It's it's hard to get anything out of those organizations, any anything out of those people. So that's where you're going to have more of an issue. Another little look at ableism and harassment, according to this person in the Nidhi Sanji fandom. I think every fandom has bad people. So every fandom will have a moment where they will be this way. So it says, when anyone brings it up, people claim it never happens. If you use hate to defend the company, you should rethink what you're doing. If you use hate to defend any company, you should really think of what you're doing. Seeing Hollow fans, S, and Nidhi fans is so funny. Like our Oshis are literally friends with each other. I can promise you that you do not find your weird comments about their friends to be amusing. I don't know, I just don't like the Nidhi Sanji fans that act like the company didn't do anything S or constantly are gross, ableist, or hang out with the dock sites. It's a little ignorant to say when it's mostly, especially in the past year, not the Niji fans that are doing this. There's far more instances of antis with this behavior. Show proof. Absolutely show proof because we have a lot of proof of you guys doing it. But you guys aren't showing a lot of proof of us doing it. Um, 
And no one really says the company has done no wrong. Just don't condone lies and BS to speak up. I didn't say anything about aunties or whatever. I just hate the subset of people who use ableism and harassment to defend the livers. That is not welcome and never is. Other people being S doesn't matter. Uh, make others S behavior okay. True. If you want to see ableists, check all the complaints under FVV's post. And I can guarantee you those are Niji fans. Those aren't Niji fans. I'm talking about towards Selen. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm just talking about a subset of Niji fans. So this is what this person was writing here, and it's true. There is ableism in there. There is uh, people talking about things that they shouldn't in ways that they shouldn't. And it's going to hurt livers. It's going to hurt the fandom. It's going to hurt people who enjoy their, their Oshis. Of course, I understand there's, there's right now, uh, feelings are high. Feelings are rough right now. A lot of emotions are going insane right now. And a lot of people want to do good for their side, or at least feel like they're doing good for their side. Another example of a win in the VTuber industry, a good AR live. Of course, I'm going to have to mute it because reasons, but let's look at this. Look at that. That's a good AR live. Look at that. The shadows, the dancing, you know, Usagi, the no, the, yeah, the no sagis. Look at that. That's an AR. Everything in the back is AR. Everything in the back is, is not there. That is all 3d. And that's, that's look, it looks like they're on stage. They're doing it right. Of course, they're keeping the angles correct as well. That's a good way to do it. And the, the models aren't like amazing either, but look at the hair movements. Look at the, when they clap, the, the fireworks happen. When they like the movement of their hair, it's not stiff. It looks loose. It looks like hair would move, you know? The strands, of course, we're not going to have like a, a ton of strands, but like even if you don't have the best 3D um, models, you can still do amazing lives with it. Like they're not the, like, look at that. They even had other things like confetti and other things popping up. This is something that they should have done. Of course, it's Pekora and this is, you know, other people, but this is still what happens when you have professionals do things for you versus, you know, people you just paid to do it for a day. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.